Hey guys, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and today I'm delving back into the Zion Crane here. This is a three axis stabilizer or gimbal for your mirrorless cameras. It will also work on smaller DSLRs, so let's jump into it. If you have kept up to date with the channel, you would know that I've already reviewed this bad boy on the channel. It was about five months ago, I'm actually stoked with how well the video's been going. Heaps of views, heaps of comments, heaps of likes, and a few dislikes as well, and a few hateful comments, but hey, what you gonna do? You got haters. The crane will work perfectly on a mirrorless camera like this, the A6000 or the A7R or A7S. They are just Sony examples, obviously. That applies to other cameras out there. There is a weight requirement though, or a classification. You can't go over that. Uh, so check out the website for that or my full review. Um, but in terms of a mirrorless camera, anything around this size, a little bit bigger, I can also fit on larger lenses here, it will work perfectly fine. I've tested it on some other cameras as well. Um, something like the GH4 though is a little bit too heavy, that's a larger DSLR, that's the one I'm using right now. Um, so just be mindful of that, otherwise you can ruin the motors here. Um, but you have the three axis stabilizer here, so there's one motor, two motors there, and then the third motor is down the bottom there, and that controls all of the axis, all three axis that you need, uh, forward, up, down, left, right, uh, and it really stabilizes the footage, guys. So the build quality itself is beautiful. They've used some premium metal here. Uh, they've got some little grip-proof rubber here, which is great for the actual camera, and then you've got some hard and thick plastic as well. You also have amazing electronics in here. You have a joystick to control movement, or you can just use the follow me mode, so as you're trying Tracking, it will counteract all of the movements. One benefit of the crane is how easy it is to install. So I can install it within a few seconds. Literally, you screw this in and it's ready to go, that's it. You then turn it on. Uh, you've got calibration if you really want to calibrate it, but straight out of the box for me, it was ready to go. I just had to weight this camera perfectly so it was balanced, turned it on and it calibrated instantly. I didn't have to do anything else. Uh, you can go through the app though and calibrate it to improve performance. Everything is also updated through the application. You don't have to plug it in necessarily. Battery life is beautiful as well. The batteries are stored in this compartment here. You also have a quarter inch screw on the bottom here, so you can put that onto a tripod or onto some sort of pole or something. Again, really handy because you can control the axis, all of the uh, gimbals here with the application. Again, super handy guys. So this thing here is a dream for filmmakers, especially for someone like me, someone who films a lot of their stuff on their own. This is just really handy. When it comes to product reviews, I can just set this up, get some super smooth shots and it you know, it looks fantastic. It's really easy to use. These are the batteries here, quite large. Uh, it comes with an additional two batteries and then you can also charge them as well on the go. Really handy guys, robust design. That's something I love about this. It's really solid. You know, it, even if you do drop it, which I'm sure you will if you're out and about trying to get the right shot, it's not gonna break it instantly. It's really strong guys. That's something I love about Zion products. They develop them really well. I have been wanting a gimbal for my mirrorless camera for the longest time now, and Zion have definitely released something that I feel will last me for years to come. This thing is built really well, and the performance on it is fantastic, you know? I love the fact that I have the joystick here. I can put it into different modes if I want full control over it, or if I want it in a follow me mode, or if I even want to control it from the application. All of that works seamlessly, and I love that about it. The build quality is great, guys. Um, the only thing I guess I can mention would probably be the fact that you do hear the motors sometimes. If you put it down too fast, for example, if you try to get a nice tilting shot but you go a little too fast, the motors will make a little noise as they're trying to counteract that movement. Now, for normal use, it's fantastic and I don't hear the motors at all. Um, it doesn't necessarily pick up the audio from the motors when I'm recording on a camera, so I guess that's a positive. And a lot of these cameras here are pretty good at blocking out, you know, background noise and whatnot and wind noise. So it does a really good job of just kind of counteracting that. But like I said, if you're going like crazy, like all over the place trying to get some Michael Bay crap, then it's probably gonna struggle a little bit. Um, but when it comes to just mounting it to a tripod and controlling it from the application, fantastic guys. That's something they've done really well. The software is developed perfectly. Hardware is beautiful as you can see. And the performance and the outcome is just great guys. So if you wanna put a little bit of money into your filmmaking. Uh, this is definitely a great step, guys. The actual crane arm is all metal and it's super solid. So that part there is not plastic at all. That holds really well and it's an amazing thing, guys. It's quite heavy as well. So you gotta make sure that you're, you know, had your wheat bix for the day or you're not too tired because it, even just holding it here, talking to you guys, it's relatively heavy. So uh, just be mindful of that. 
But overall, for the comments out there, for people who wanted to know how I feel about this after five months, I think six months of use with this bad boy, I'm in love with it guys. This is probably one of the coolest products I've ever received to actually review and um, I've loved it, you know. It, I'm not biased at all in my reviews. This is something that I genuinely wanted in my filmmaking kind of library of accessories. This thing's done an amazing job for me so far. Uh, I've used it in so many different situations and it's held up. It holds an amazing charge as well and it's really handy guys. So if you're looking into something like this, if you've got a little bit of spare change or a fair bit of spare change, then um, this is definitely something to get to improve your filmmaking and definitely to have something in your filmmaking library. This is an amazing tool guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of those comments. Uh, I'd love to know if you have picked up one of these. Let me know if you've noticed anything negative, positive. Uh, personally, like I said, the only thing is just the motors that I can hear occasionally, but besides that it performs perfectly perfectly guys. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support. Uh, check out the review if you haven't already. Leave me a like and a comment below. I love reading the comments. Thank you so much for watching though. Make sure to have a splendid day and peace out.